What video is perfectly innocent, but has a terrifying backstory? Next door neighbor's security footage of a disturbingly calm Chris Watt loading up his work truck in the morning with the bodies of his recently strangled pregnant wife and two young children, to dispose of them. Absolutely ducked up. In a recent interview he said the kids were still alive in that video and took their lives at the dump site. Back in the 90s, there was a segment on The Jenny Jones Show where a guy, Scott Amiger, confessed that he had a crush on a male friend, Jonathan Schmitz. Schmitz was so embarrassed by the appearance that he shot and killed Amiger three days after the taping. A popular 18-year-old CSGO YouTuber uploaded a reveal of the supercar he had just bought. His Steam account containing around $100,000 of in-game items was banned six months later, causing him to have a serious mental breakdown. Two months after his ban he drove this car 100 miles per hour down an LA highway the wrong way in an attempt to commit suicide. He crashed head-on into a van, killing himself, a mother and her 12-year-old daughter. Any of the recordings of Jim Jones at his interracial church. If he had been hit by a car before he went to CA he would have been looked up to as one of the early civil rights activists. It's crazy to me how someone who was calling for unity between people could end up as one of the most awful cult leaders in recent history. A lot of people probably remember Minecraft Family, a wholesome YouTube series in the early days of Minecraft where a family, the son, the person who made the videos, his dad and sister, would play together. It was funny and a great part of my childhood. I went to rewatch the series and some comments were referring to a Draw My Life video he made which revealed his father was actually very abusive to his mother and himself during those times, and that playing Minecraft was the only time his family felt normal. That broke my heart and I couldn't watch the series or see it the same way. There's this video from June of 2012 showing a 20-year-old man playing Dance Dance Revolution at an AMC theater in Connecticut. He is being unknowingly recorded from behind by some people who spotted him and they're both mocking him and admiring his skills at the game. Six months after this video was taken, the young man in the video, Adam Lanza, would shoot his mother four times in the head while she slept. He would then drive his car to the nearby Sandy Hook Elementary School, where he would murder six adults and twenty children who were between the ages of six and seven. During the shooting, he yelled abuse and obscenities at his victims. One student reported that he heard one of his classmates cry out help me. I don't want to be here. And Lanza replied well, you're here. Upon hearing the sirens of responding police units, Lanza pulled out a 10mm pistol and shot himself. No motive for the shooting was ever found. That one reaction gif of the African man on the boat laughing. The man is Idi Amin, the cruelest, most violent despot in the history of Uganda, if not the entire African continent and he's laughing at the interviewer asking him if it's true that he said that Hitler didn't kill enough Jews during the war. He did, in fact, say that. I wouldn't call this innocent, but surprising. A news reporter is interviewing Stephen McDaniel about a missing woman, Lauren Gidding. During the interview the reporter tells him that a body was found, turns out to be her body, and McDaniel just kind of mentally shuts off. That would kind of be a normal reaction, finding out an acquaintance of yours is missing and then a body is found in the area where she disappeared. The kicker is, that McDaniel is the one who murdered and hid Gidding's body, and he's coming to the realization that the police found her and has officially ducked. Definitely eerie. I saw a low-quality video that first showed a street from the view of a balcony, then the camera shook rapidly, then it ended showing a mirror. I found out about this before but, the video was footage from a live stream that a 13-year-old girl recorded of her committing suicide. The camera shaking was the phone falling from her hands as she jumped off of her balcony onto the street. The phone ended up in the room because it fell back into it. Look up the Hart family crash. One of the victims was a child who had been in a viral video slash photo for hugging a cop during a police brutality protest, and later was murdered by his parents after years of horrific abuse. The interaction looks a whole lot more like a child desperately in need of help rather than the feel-good moment it was made out to be at the time. Here's a really good one. This cop is giving advice on how to stay safe and avoid becoming victims of a crime. He talks with a reporter about how anything could happen being a female you could be abused, robbed if you're a male. Well it turns out that the cop is none other than Craig Pyre, who three days after recording this video, 
murders Kara not after pulling her over. It was found out through the investigation that Pyre had a history of targeting women and making predatory sexual advances on several female drivers. Lemon Stealing W.H. Rees The weird adult movie intro got big a while ago because of its bad acting and overall comedic effect but Herc the director got high on heroin and murdered the female lead some time after filming. Her death was never ruled a homicide, but it was also never really investigated Herc. She was brought to the hospital unresponsive and died there. It was alleged that her adult movie producer boyfriend Pistol whipped her, and they found trace amounts of drugs in her system, but not enough to be legal. The boyfriend in question killed himself a month later. There's a video on YouTube called She's Still Sleeping A vlogger recorded his wife, thinking that she was asleep, and making comments about how odd it was for her to still be asleep. It turns out she had actually died in her sleep, and the vlogger recorded her completely unknowing. The 2007 movie Waitress. It's about a small town waitress with a passion for baking who struggles with an abusive husband and an unwanted pregnancy while trying to find happiness and love. It's a sweet and really heartwarming film, and it has some big name stars Carrie Russell, Nathan Fillion, Andy Griffith, but most notably to this post, Adrienne Shelley. Adrienne Shelley was not only a co star and the writer for Waitress, but this movie was also her directorial debut. When released in 2007 it was very well received for its hard and unique directorial style. However, Adrienne Shelley was murdered in 2006, three months before it debuted. Her death was first ruled as a suicide by hanging before further investigation showed she was murdered by a stranger who staged her suicide. Waitress was the only film she would get to direct. The Adrienne Shelley Foundation now exists to support women filmmakers, continuing Shelley's legacy. There's one of a girl with her dad and her stepsister on the forest, the girl is doing a typical home video and the stepsister tells her Sarah, dad's a pervert. The dad then takes the camera. Stepsister went missing years later, and that man is the principal suspect. The last Twitch stream of Wreckful. He jokingly comments about if it's all a simulation and maybe you get out when you die. He asks if he should try his luck to chat. You can tell he is glancing at his balcony a few times. He jumped from it the next day or so. It gets even darker when you learn about his past. His older brother committed suicide as well. There was this wrestler and he comes out in all his glory, he's flexing the crowd is cheering the atmosphere is so warm and just exciting. Then to add to the excitement he does a front flip I believe, he's a wrestler and a big guy so attempting this when he has no priors of trying before is a recipe for disaster, he does the flip the audience is cheering. But he fell on his neck and died instantly. It was heartbreaking to watch. That footage from your typical cheesy dating show from the 1970s. However that man is Rodney L. Cal, a serial killer that was believed to have killed up to 130 women, but was only convicted of seven. He appeared on the dating game during his killing spree. Luckily, for the female contestant of that show she actually didn't end up going on a date with him because she felt he was giving off a creepy vibe. I was hiking the Appalachian Trail in high school and our guide told us a story about someone that got filmed sleeping on the trail with their camera but the thing was they were hiking alone. They didn't see the footage until they got home so they had no idea how long it went on for. There is a photo of a girl and her mother on a plane. The plane they were on was Malaysia Airlines flight MH17. Flight 17 was later shot down by a missile over the Ukraine. There were no survivors. Another picture from Flight 17 was a boy and his mother just before takeoff. Another picture is of the plane before takeoff with the caption if the plane disappears, this is what it looks like. The reason the guy said this was because four months earlier Malaysia Airlines flight MH370 vanished while going to China. Carla Homolka and her former husband, Paul Bernardo's clips that they recorded while assaulting, murdering young girls. They even forced and killed Carla's little sister Tammy as Paul was sexually attracted to her. After Tammy had died, Carla wore Tammy's clothes and acted exactly like her and her she and her husband had sex on Tammy's bed. They killed Tammy on Christmas Eve when all their family members were there at home. They were literally having drinks with Tammy and it looked like just another happy family holiday. Little did anyone know, they'd force and then strangle Tammy after everyone went to sleep. They called the ambulance to avoid being suspects. Later. Tammy's death was announced to be an accident. 
Her official cause of death was listed as choking on her own vomit. Thanks for tuning in to Reddit Streams. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for more videos. Share your views in the comments below.